William Hill, sponsors Seconds Out. Radio Raheem here in New York City with David Diamante. You might recognize this voice. You've been in the ring, man, with, uh, with first of all, a lot of super fights. This is a super fight because we got Anthony Joshua over to America for the first time. You know these fighters. You know what you're looking at when they stand on either side of you. For this fight, what are you looking at? It's just so exciting, like you said. First of all, double R, double D, <laughs> right here. MSG, it's going down Saturday night. Heavyweight Championship of the World. Anytime you have this title up for grabs, it's it's huge, especially when you have this many pieces of the pie. Um, we've got three, I guess, obviously the IBO also, but, but really three out of the four pieces of the pie are up for grabs. And, you know, I do a lot of fights in the UK now, and this card from top to bottom has got a lot of UK fighters on it, and we can talk about that in a second, but I think the main thing is that you're talking about Anthony Joshua, this is really his coming out party here in America. I think that we expect Anthony Joshua to do the business on Saturday night. Um, I think Andy Ruiz is a fine fighter, I think he's a tough fighter, I think he's a real fighter. I think it's very possible that he could have been the undefeated WBO heavyweight champion of the world right now, because I think that that fight with Parker was very, very close. Uh, it was against a guy from New Zealand, uh, a Kiwi down in New Zealand. It was a very close fight. Parker got the decision. Chips fall as they do. But we're not casuals, right? You're not casual. I'm not casual. We're real fans. We watch this stuff and we know what it is. We know how tough Ruiz is. But that, be that as it may, Anthony, jo there's levels to this, right? And I think Anthony Joshua is just, he's really a superstar. And over there, he kind of transcends the sport in the UK. Down here, he can walk down the street, no one even knows who he is. And that's got to change. So we've got we to change that here because he is a superstar. What's the energy like? You're one of the few people that can stand on stage and then both fighters are only a few feet away from you. What's that energy like being in the middle? What comes off of both fighters? Are you able to determine anything, like even last minute, right before the first bell rings, that uh, the rest of us just are not, don't have access to? Well, I think that so that's it's a really interesting point that you bring up, and I don't think anyone's ever asked me that. But I, I think in a way, yes, and in a way, maybe no, because nowadays, TV is so high def. You guys get the TV right up in there. So the, everyone in the living room is probably seeing almost what I'm seeing, but you're not feeling or actually tensing you know seeing that tense energy and I think in a fight sometimes at a stare down you can feel that energy um, and sometimes guys they try to be so they got this bravado in their so but you know really at, the, at when you really get up to these levels of sport man it's all about fighting calm and fighting smart it takes so many fights to be able to get to be calm in the ring you know look at a guy like James Tony sitting on the ropes guy's just trying to take his head off and he's just slipping and, and dodging like like he's sitting on his living room couch like it's nothing to be that calm in the heat of battle that's really where you want to be right you don't want to waste that energy so when you see guys up there you know staring down i mean there's a difference between a guy like hearns who i i think hearns had like the best stared out in history he just look at you hollow like i'm gonna kill you <laughs> it was just this great stare down you know but so you can see some things and i love that that's one of the things you'll you usually see me you know i've got the the, the mic under the ref's arm and I'm, I'm looking you know some of the some of the announcers you know they'll kind of like shy away but I'm, I'm right there looking because I want to see that you talk about uh, the experiences that you've had overseas in the UK you've done a lot of fights there and here what's the difference for you for you and then what's the difference that you feel like in the room well America's always my home man I'm, I'm American and I'm proud but um, I'm also a global citizen and I love traveling I'm all over the world I'm going to the UK for many 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 years uh, even way before I was doing fights over there um, but what I really love about the, the fight fans in the UK is first of all they're, they're they're rabid sports fans and they really follow the sports man they follow the fighters they get behind their charges and I love that man you know I'm not saying that we don't do that here but you know the American fans, like, they think they're, like, so great until you go to watch, a like, a football game over there. And it's maniacal. There's riots in the street. You know, <laughs> win or lose, they're rioting, you know. We only see that with the, with the Raiders, you know, in Oakland, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, but it's like, you know, we do have really good sports fans here. But people sometimes need to get – We I think that we just have so many more major sports, you know. We've obviously got the big four, you know, NHL, NFL. MLB and NBA, those are the massive, and I, you know, being an NBA announcer, I saw it, you know, and I got, you know, obviously called the Nets games, but I got to call games against, you know, LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and Steph Curry and all the great guys, and the fans all come out for those big stars, but when you see 
people hanging off the rafters for weigh-ins in the UK. I mean, this is just guys in their underwear standing on a scale, Raheem. <laughs> but people are there like, ah, you know, and it's really exciting. So I love doing fights in the UK. And lastly, you are the only man who can really answer this question, or one of very few, but when you stand in the middle of the ring and the fighters are announced, you can hear where the cascades of cheers and boos are coming from. You can measure them on Saturday night Who's going to get the biggest applause? Who's going to have the most fervent fans? The Mexicans are known for coming out and supporting their guys. The UK fighter fans are known for coming out and supporting their guys. They're probably the top two supporting communities in boxing. Who's going to take the cheer on Saturday night? Well, first of all, I agree with you. Mexican fans and UK fans are probably the two best in the world. I mean, they are so into it. And and even a guy like Marco Antonio Pettibon, who's, who's doing, he was fighting uh, on this card. I did his uh, fight in Mexico City like years ago, you know. And and it, it's the Mexican fans are amazing. But without a doubt, hands down, 100%, this night is going to belong to AJ. This is Anthony Joshua's coming out party. This is his showcase. And I think that the UK fans are just going to take the roof off the garden. It's going to be amazing. Radio Raheem with David Diamante. We'll see him Saturday night on the zone. June 1st, Anthony Joshua takes on jo uh, um, Andy Ruiz. Can't wait to see that fight. Can't wait to watch you do your job one more time. Thank Radio you. Radio Raheem with David Diamante. William Hill sponsors Seconds Out.